All right, all right. Hello, my people. How's everyone doing? It's your boy, Kunda Sage. Love, love Chief Earl. Love Yugi. It ain't Lil Chief Earl, but it's Lil Yugi, but it's Chief Earl. And I have finally, like, balanced my energies and did a lot of shadow work with myself. And I faced many obstacles, and I feel as if I move to the next level, the next phases, which my ancestors wanted me to be on. So now I had reset my life. And I'm like, I sacrificed a lot of things that I felt I needed to be able to endure life. Or it's almost like, you know how you just want to have fun and party and do things your way? But I have to sacrifice that and do things for the whole collective, like my family. Like everything I do to fix my daughter, my uh, child's mother, my mom, my dad, my cousin, my sister, my own family, you know? And if they're hurting or if I'm doing something, just because I feel like I want to have fun and it's affecting this, my ancestors can't flow, like, prosperously through my life and do things they need to do for the whole collective. So I have to sacrifice. And I feel like a lot of us, we need to just sacrifice what makes us comfortable. And that's why we always end up in uncomfortable situations because that's the only way you can grow. And it's saying, well, you're not comfortable. So it's like, I'm right now. I'm just doing everything different. I'm seeing things different. I'm, I'm self disciplining myself. I'm listening to my master teacher, Shadow Shaka most, and I got things lined up with my Mambu and Heru, and I'm taking this path very serious. Also, I'm not like I'm not so quick to judge people because I'm aware I make mistakes. You know, so like. Chaco most told me, when you point one finger, someone three are pointing at you. So all you can do is just look yourself in the mirror and say, am I a failure? Am I a loser? Don't worry about if other people around you are losing, you just correct yourself. Then you could be the light, what you wish to project to others to set the example. And the answers can work through all. Whoever there's a part of your soul tribe is a strong unit. So... I just want to thank everyone who's tuned in with the message. And I really don't, I don't, the only thing I want, no one has, doesn't have to like my, you don't have to follow my account or like or anything. The only thing I wish for those two, when they hear the message, just sit back and think about it. And just think about like, what do I want my life to be? Do I want to just be here? It's just a waste of time. No purpose, just I'm just going to waste my life and have a simple mind way of thinking. Or do I actually want to have a purpose? And I see all these signs and symbols my ancestors left for me. And I want to continue their legacy and shine bright for them. So everything how we live is based off of what our ancestors left us. And the world, it has got distracted, disconnected from the ways of ancestors. And everyone's consumed into the matrix, AI technology, but it's slowly killing our generations from um, tapping into the higher realms. And you don't want to be stuck in technology. When you die, you're just going to be like a circuit inside of a, like a circuit board and trapped inside of like a computer. And oh, I feel like we should just like pay attention to nature, see how the trees and all the animals, how they're all tapped in with the sun the dirt, and they're all harmonized together, but this other technology is like blocking it and it's sucking away their energy. So it has to be my eye that's balanced. It has to be truth and justice. So we have to be, we have to be the objects of truth, of justice, and allow the forces of the ancestors to flow through us to protect nature so we can all be harmonized in this plan and continue with the ancestors' blueprint, which they wanted us to be. So I just want to thank everyone.